Alright guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to offset entities and how to mirror entities. And then in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to do a linear sketch pattern and a circular sketch pattern. I did go ahead and skip convert entities and intersection curve because those actually deal with 3D geometry and we have not done that yet. So, very first thing I want to do is kind of delete everything that you see in front of you and I'm going to redraw some of that so I'm just gonna draw a box and we haven't really done this from we haven't done this for a while so let me go ahead and kinda of start from scratch so let's go ahead and hit X don't save so I'm gonna go to file new I'm gonna pick a part hit OK now instead of actually picking what sketch I wanna draw first I'm gonna pick the plane I wanna draw on first so I wanna draw on the front plane I pick a square and notice how it actually orients the front plane so I can draw on it pick the origin expand out now what I'm going to do is offset this box so let's say I have a part that is like this except these four lines are offset a half inch from here or five millimeter we can go to offset entities and all you have to do is pick one line because it gives you the option of selecting a chain so you can just offset one line or you can offset a chain of lines and you can also offset not only the outside but the inside at the same time All right. now you have the option to reverse the chain selection and that it, I mean it's very simple if you just kinda read you'll understand what it's doing now what one thing you might not be able to read and understand is make base construction which is this option right here and what that's gonna do is the original geometry that you selected even if it's this line it's also gonna include the chain selection it's gonna make those into construction lines meaning that it's not going to be able to extrude cut or extrude it's just going to be there for reference lines so I'm going to uncheck that and we're going to go ahead and hit check and you'll see what it did now you can actually edit that so if I want that to actually be 11 millimeters it will go ahead and edit all those features at the same time because of relationships which are very important which will be in the next few videos I'm going to hit delete I'm going to go ahead and hit control Z actually and I'm going to show you guys what cap is so we're going to pick that and hit delete alright so now we're going to go back to offset and we are going to pick the any line really it really doesn't matter and we are going to go bi-directional now when you select the bi-directional it gives you the option to cap the ends so if it's not a full enclosed loop it will give the give you the option to cap off the bi-directional offset lines with either an arc or a line alright so very very simple so we're gonna make that uh, the base lines which are gonna be these lines we're gonna go ahead and make those construction lines hit check alright very good well, let me go ahead and control Z. Let's go back to the offset lines. Okay. There we go. Okay. I thought something was wrong. All right. Now that those are construction lines, what I want to do is mirror over the geometry. All right. Now on to the next step. We are going to be offsetting and mirroring lines. So we're going to go file new part and hit OK. Now instead of selecting geometry first what I want to do is pick the plane I want to draw on first. So I'm going to pick front plane and I'm going to draw a box. Now notice how it orients the 2D plane so I can draw on it. Pick the origin and drag out. Very good. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit F on my keyboard so it'll fit it. Hit escape and now I have my box. So now I want to offset my box and if you get, if you're confused because I skipped convert entities and intersection curve don't worry about it 
that actually deals with 3D geometry, which we have not gotten to. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over offset entities. All right, so we're going to pick that, and it gives you all these different options. Now, we can go ahead and pick a line. really doesn't matter. And you'll see these yellow lines. Those yellow lines represent what it's going to do. All right, so if you read down it, we can select a chain, meaning that if we just select one line, it's going to select the closing loop. Bidirectional means that it's going to offset not only on the outside, but inside. So let me give you an, uh, an example by unclicking it. Notice how it's just on the outside now. Now, if I wanted it just to be on the inside, all I have to do is click reverse, and it puts it on the inside. All right. Uh, make base construction if you have that clicked or that checked that just means that the original geometry or the geometry that is going to be offset is going to be construction lines so let me go ahead and hit check to show you so notice how the original lines are construction lines or reference lines alright cool so we're gonna hit control Z and I'm gonna go back to offset entities and show you what cap ends mean. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to have to hit X and delete one of these lines. Go back into Offset Entities and click a line. And notice how it actually closed that loop off. And whenever you have bidirectional selected where it's offset on the inside and outside, and you do not have a closed loop, it gives you an option to close that loop with either arcs or lines. So very simple. And you can change the dimensions of all this by the very top. Alright. So that pretty much concludes the offset entities. Now let's go ahead and mirror this geometry. So I'm going to go ahead and hit check. And let's say I want to mirror this around a specific line. Let's say 5 millimeters offset from this line. What we can do is go to offset. I want to offset this vertical line. I don't want to do bidirectional. I don't want to do select the chain. And I wanted it to go in this left direction. I don't want it to go in the right direction. So that's perfect. Let's say I wanted to offset it five millimeters. Now I want to offset or I want to mirror this geometry around this line five millimeters. Now you notice how this vertical line on the right is construction line and this one's just a standard line on the left well I actually want that to be the opposite way so what I can do is I can pick this vertical line and uncheck this for construction and it'll make it a standard line and then hit check now I can pick this vertical line and click for construction and hit OK and this is important because let me go ahead and delete these middle lines. This is important because when you mirror, it's going to want to mirror around construction lines. So, for instance, if I select everything, including the construction line, and I hit mirror entities, it's going to go ahead and assume that this construction line is what I want to mirror about. So let me hit Control Z. And if we wanted to select this individually, we go to mirror entities it's gonna ask what do you want to mirror I want to mirror this geometry mirror about what I want to mirror about this face and if you want to copy it or if you don't want to copy it you, that can be achieved by clicking and unchecking this box and it is as simple as that ladies and gentlemen so like I said in the first couple of tutorials the easiest way to learn this stuff is by doing it so if you're not following along, that is perfectly fine. Get out SolidWorks, just play around with sketch mode. After you learn all these little tricks, it'll make the very next step, which is going to be extruding it and extrude cutting, very, very simple. All right. The very next lesson, we're going to be going over how to do linear sketches, linear copies, circular copies, and also how to move your entities and actually mirror or not mirror them but rotate them copy them scale them and stretch them and then from there we'll move on to these other buttons alright so on to the next step